Hello and you're very welcome to this our 11th video in our series on Unit 4 for Leaving Certificate Business. And in this video we're going to learn what teamwork is and the stages in developing a successful team. And we're going to find out what forming, storming, norming and performing means. So, first let's get stuck into what is teamwork. Well, I'm sure you've all heard what teamwork is before, so what do you think it means in a business sense? Jot down your ideas and press pray when you're ready to continue. So, teamwork occurs when a group of people are working cooperatively towards a common goal. Remember all cooperative relationships in Unit 1? So, that's the definition of teamwork in a nutshell, when people work together in a positive sense. So, stages in developing a successful team. There's four of them. It's forming, it's storming, it's norming, and it's performing. Okay, so now we need to go through each of these and know what they are. This could be a code 20-mark question, the stages in developing a successful team. So, forming. What does it sound like? Well, it's of course when the team is formed or when the team is created. So people get to meet each other, they start to get to know each other. So think about it logically. When you meet someone, what's the what is the interactions like? So I mean, there's all about the first impressions, people getting to know each other, people are nice and polite to each other, there's not really many rows or anything like that. Um everyone's very friendly, they're all trying to suss each other out and what they're like. Then you get past that stage, there's the storming side. So you think storming, you think yourself a good old-fashioned thunderstorm, bit, you know, a bit of, bit of rupture going on, okay? So team members test relationships, resulting in tension, tensions and conflicts arising. So people are kind of testing the borders here, see what, you know, see how far they can push people. Members try to establish their position in a team, so you know yourself in your working groups. Also, always someone that tries to make themselves out to be the leader from the outset, you know? Members may act as individuals and resist other views, Others' views, as it were. Um, so they try to, you know, difference of opinions are challenged. So people are trying to make an individual stake for themselves and trying to make their mark on the team. This is what we call it storm because it's kind of the, it's kind of the, the, the ruptuous side of the development of a team. Now we get to norming. Norming, what word, English word sounds like norming? Normal. Things become more normalised. Constructive relationships and ways of working together emerge. People identify the strengths and weaknesses of people and what their personal attributes are. Some what ground rules and procedures are agreed, and then you know people kind of getting over their own personal egos, and there's now a focus on the task at hand. People start to trust each other as they start to develop relationships. So the people know what their strengths and weaknesses are, and now we get on to the last stage of performing, and it literally as it sounds, it's getting the job done. The team has settled down to complete the task at hand. They're cooperating with each other and they're working as one with a strong sense of unity. So. Folks, that brings us to the end of this lesson where we learned what teamwork was, the stages of developing a team, a successful team, of course, and what they are. So forming, storming, norming, and performing. That is forming, storming, norming, and performing. Well, folks, hope you enjoyed this video. And if you enjoyed it, give it a like. Go on, sure, why not? And if you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. I mean, if you're this far into the series and you haven't subscribed to the channel, what are you actually doing? Um, any questions, ask, comments, and thanks very much for watching. See you in the next video. Bye now.